Hi everybody, I hope you're all well. Um, just had a uh, request to do a um, video or a, a some sort of explanation on the sensor and what it is and how to install it. Um, but first things first, this is just a little thing, hopefully this will be a new video. Um, <clears throat> this is a, not my design, this is a Rip Rap Atom X. It's a, more or less a 3D printed 3D printer. Um, so hopefully there will be a video coming up on that pretty soon. And I'll put the link in the description. This was all printed out on uh, the A-Net. So, it's making itself a girlfriend. Um, so anyway, that'll be later on. But, jump to it. I did just do this video once. And I had autofocus on a camera. And it was murder. It wouldn't focus. So, doing it again. This is the inductive uh, switch. And I'll show you a link to where I got it from. I'm going to keep this video short as well. This is where I got the switch. Nine quid. Um... It's in the but he sells them. Skynet 3D mods, he tests them all, they're plug and play. Um, so there's nothing to worry about. Uh, get worried about all the resistors and how you connect it. Didn't even worry about it. Just literally unplug the existing switch. That's the switch that used to be connected to that. Uh, third down on the right is the Z uh, switch connection. Which is rather handy referred to in the bit of paper they give you, which is covered in crap. Um, but there, Z switch connection, it's the right hand side of the USB, third one down under the LCD. So just plug that in, um, <clears throat> that's uh, the hardware uh, taken care of. The mount comes with the firmware link, and I'll just show you where I um, put the link to the firmware in my first vid, but I'll just show you where that is. So this is my first video, and if you go to the links, or I'll just uh, show more, is it? I don't know. Uh, down here on it. Second link down on that vid is the files. The first link is a video showing how I learned how to do it. I'll show you as well here quickly. That's the download link. Click it, it's fine. I scanned it with a vast. It's fine. I'll show you what's in it. That's what's in it when you unpack it. You've got a um, copy of Cura, documentation, the actual firmware, troubleshooting guide which is really helpful because it includes a version of the stock firmware in case you get scared and you want to roll it back which you can do a copy of the um, 3d printable mount that i just showed you uh, one for the blue and one for the orange i've got the orange i can only vouch for the orange being plug and play the blue one i don't know and the blue one is an 18 mil so you need the 18 mil holder there uh, and a copy of arduino 1.6.9 and that copy includes the ANET version 1 board, which is the main board we're interested in. I've tried other versions of Arduino that didn't include that board, so I would suggest you use um, his one. So, plug in your USB, plug in your USB to the computer. You should have a COM port under um, Control Panel, Device Manager, Ports. You can see I've got COM4. If you haven't got a COM port, then there is a COM port driver included on the um, SD card that comes with the ANET A8, and that's just a couple of clicks and installs it. So um, that's the first hurdle. So now we've got a COM port, we're connected to the, to the printer. We've plugged in our um, inductive sensor, printed out the uh, holder before, obviously, put it all attached up. To attach it, you have to undo these um, two, and this does ping apart, and to put it back, that basically goes in between the fan and the um, the uh, actual motor, the stepper motor. Just hold it down at the back. I'll well, get a mate to hold it down at the back and then thread all the screws through. There's two of them. Um, it's a bit of a pain, but you'll get there. Uh, so we just open up Arduino. And there's Arduino. I'll open it up. Pause it. I'm trying to do this left-handed so the screen may flicker and what have you. Um, tools you want the board ANET version 1 you want the COM port that the COM port I've just showed you make sure it has got COM port it'll moan if it hasn't nothing bad will happen but it just won't work and the programmer AVRSP mark 2 okay and then you will go and open Skynet firmware and that will look like this in your Skynet version 2 file you'll have a whole bunch of stuff don't be scared just look for the INO file Skynet 2 INO, which is that one, open that up, I've already got it open because it's the last thing I opened, and you'll see this, and you'll see all along the top things, just worry about config H, 
click uh, Control F and it will bring up a little box type Z Prime and it will jump you to the right section. You see a little picture like that, you know you're in the right place. Depending on what you've got, if you've got what I've got and what most people have got, you just uncomment these first three and make sure that the Z is at zero. There. If you've got their own one, Anet's own one that mounts on the back, then uncomment those three. When I say uncomment, just knock these two little things out. Control F, type in bed leveling, takes you to auto bed leveling. Um, and here you can change the three to a five that I talked about in my other video. Um, leave these alone, these are max and mins. See here it says auto bed leveling grid points five. That's five squared. Default's three, so it'll be. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, mine's on 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, do, 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 25 points um, for the auto level, that's the max you can have. Control F, type LCD, takes it down to LCD, type, uh, you just want the, uncomment the, if you've got what I've got, which most people have got, that, that board, that board. Then uncomment the first one. If you've got the full graphics version with a little wheel on the right hand side or whatever, uncomment the second one. Um, that's it. Um, so then you would verify the code. Do a little tick. I'm going to pause it. It'll take a while, maybe a minute, maybe two, depending on your computer. When it's finished, it'll say done compiling. You don't have to do this step, but it's good practice. But it's done compiling. Um, yeah, apologies for that. It's done compiling. And once it's, it, if it goes red, it's got an error. If it goes like that, you know it's okay. Then once you've selected all them bits that I showed you, got the right bits there uh, with the COM port and what have you, then upload it. I'm not going to upload it because I already have, and I don't remember which version of firmware this is. Upload it. <coughs> when it's finished uploading, <coughs> it will say done uploading. Don't touch anything until it says done uploading. When it's done uploading, this will reboot, it will say Marlin, it will come up Skynet 3D ready and you'll have X, Y and Z flashing like that. Don't panic, that just means it hasn't been homed yet. It's worth checking this, the, um, the the temperatures are fine, they were, they were, there's no reason I wouldn't be, but that's what it will say, so let's move on. Oh yeah, and once it's done that, just shut Arduino because it can hold onto the COM port otherwise I hope not version of Cure that come with the uh, downloads 15.04 whatever still plugged in over USB open up uh, the cube file that came with it wait for it to the slice print the USB now opening COM4 opening serial port Dun, dun, dun. Connected temperature 22 by 22. So we're now talking to the printer. So I'm trying to do this with my left hand. White home all. Okay, lifts up, homes the X, the Y. Goes to the middle, comes down to what he thinks is there, and then goes back up to 10. So it now thinks it's a 10. Okay, so what you would do is you would lower it down with your left hand, looking through the screen, Z10. Now it thinks it's a zero. Now you do your paper test, get, get, get where you want it, keep coming down until you've got a nice uh, drag. I would suggest either, depending on how much room you've got, use your common sense, but uh, come down minus 0.1 or 1 or whatever. Once you've got the figure, it will say it will say Z minus 2.3 or whatever you've got minus being the critical thing. Write that down on a bit of paper, okay? And then um, we would go middle button, control, right button, motion, right button, Z offset right button up and down to set it down because you want to go down if you're below the nozzle or your sensors above the nozzle even 
uh, it will be really slow, it will crawl down. Once you've got where you want, hold that button down for about three seconds, and then middle button, or leave it, and then you want to go to very quickly, or not really quickly, but uh, 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 back. Actually, don't worry about really quickly, I'm just being an idiot. Hold on, I've been an idiot. So from here, middle button, down to control, right, down to store memory, store memory, right, hold it, goes like that. That Z value is now in the EEPROM, so the only Z value, because there's nothing in the code you uploaded, only on, the, on here. If you want to check it, so it can't get confused because that's what I did before I did in both and it got confused. I want to check it. Control. Sorry about this camera's being a pain today. Z offset and that should be where you set it. So that's it. So now when it comes down to zero, you should have a nice drag on your bit of paper. Uh, one other thing. I either print, I don't know if this makes any difference, but I either, if I'm using the SD card, I unplug it. If I'm not, I, you know, but I don't know if that makes any difference. And the only other thing is in your G code, now that you've got the bed leveler um, set up, you've got to add a G29 to your printer setup, which I'll show you now. So this is Cura 2.3, I don't know why I prefer it, but I do. So just uh, settings, printer. See, so I've set up an ANET printer, AA. You can set, add a printer there if you want, but manage printers, ANET, AA, machine settings. You can see just down here, I've added a G29 there, just under the first G28. And a G29 is <coughs> scan the bed. So <coughs> then you just, that's saved.